ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರೀ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜದಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಶೀರೊನೃತು ಪುಲ್ ತಿರುವೆಂಗಡ ಮುಡಯಾನ್ ಪಾರೊನ್ರಚೊನ್ನ ಪಳಮೊಳ್ಳು ಊರೊನ್ರು ತಾನೇ ಅಮಯಾದೋ ತಾರಣಿಯಲ್ ವಾಳ್ವಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾನೇರ ಪೋಮಳವಂ ವಾಳ್ವ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಶರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸಂಜರತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ರಾಮಾಯಣಜಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಚೀರುನೃತೂಪುಲ್ ತಿರುವೆಂಗತ ಮುರಯಾನ್ ಪಾರುಂದ್ರ ಚಿನ್ನ ಪರಮುಲ್ಯುಲ್ ಓರ್ ನೃತಾನೇಯಮಯಾತೋತಾರನೀಯಲ್ ವಾಲ್ವಾರ್ಕ ವಾನೇರ ಪೋಮಲವಂ ವಾಲ್ವ so we have to take up this uh, i think it will um, i also feel that it's a, it's a lot of repetitions are there to stress the point that pancharatra is the best tradition as well as um, it should be followed uh, meticulously that's the essence quintessence of the whole work pancharatra raksha the priests have to guard uh you know what do you call uh li- diligently the priests have to guard diligently the tradition that is the more that is the most important part okay so apakrishta uh, i can i can go fast so uh, this is what we are uh, treating now this topic apakrishta shastra sthane utkrishta shastra parigraha vachanasya swayam vyakta sthana paratvam this we have seen uh, in the sense uh, there are three types of um, tradition sattvika rajasa and tamasa and uh, once sattvika is used you need not to resort to the other two and when tamasa tradition is already been used and then you can in- introduce rajasa and then go higher to a higher, higher level called sattvika and the reverse direction is not advisable that's what i will say it's all it's very easy to understand only thing is practical practical procedure must be practiced otherwise there will be confusion this is the essence of this paragraph we can go further so there should not be a mixture that's all you cannot mix all the three namely sattvika rajasa and tamasa and if you uh, if and gopal and swami uh, is not clear you, you can ask questions even in the middle so we have we can go up so we because we have not at uh, uh, completed the first chapter prathamah adhikara okay so muni bhajiteshu trishu shastreshu utkrishta madhya ಉದ್ಯಮ ಅಧಮ ಗುಣ ಸಂಯ ನಿರ್ದಿಷ್ಟು ಅಪಕೃಷ್ಟ ಗುಣ ಸಂಯತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ತತ್ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗೇನ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗೇನ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಗುಣ ಸಂಯತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೇಣ ಪೂಜಾ ಆದ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೇಜಸ್ Uh, they have uh, categorized as uh, utkrishta namely sattvika 
then madhyama or madhyama or and adhama this is how we say sattvika rajasa and tamasa the terms are different that's all the meaning is same so it is by this nomenclature the level is indicated highest level middle level and lower level here so in all the in all the puja worship done through any type of tamasa rajasa utkrishta you know, now we are get, getting a new new uh, jargon namely adhama for uh, tamasa madhyama for rajasa and utkrishta for sattvika now uh, as usual as uh, given earlier uh sacrifice that is give up give up the old tradition and go to a higher level that can be done not to a lower level and therefore but uh, all the puja will be successful siddhidam very easy to understand so utkrishta guna samhita shastra pravrti sthane tad vipariteena shastrena pujanaadikam na kartavi the only the, again again i says the same point namely once you go to the highest level or the best level you are not supposed to come down then what will happen there will be a what you call confusion or catastrophe namely some danger will be there for especially the nation namely the people and also the kingdom or all the leader so the earth will not be in peace if such a tradition has been changed so we are not supposed to uh, go down in the level the standard go down the standards so samaguna samhita nam cha anyonyam na sankaraha karyam iti uktam karya ha iti uktam namely if you have uh, some traditions uh, equal in nature equal in name equal in name for example whether we name the traditions as adhama or tamasika they are equal, equivalent in terms so you call a tradition tamasika or you call a tradition as uh, adhama then uh, both are same and again again it uh, they should cannot be mixed for example by the by the name the practical procedures may differ even though they are in the same level they are rather the lowest level in tamasa and tamasika and adhama so already the uh, adhama has been practiced though don't introduce tamasika in in its place that's the meaning so again another uh, another meaning shade of meaning of this sentence is don't mix the levels don't mix the lower level to a higher level and again don't mix the higher level to the highest level with the highest level therefore the generally mixture is to be avoided combination must be avoided that's important so again next example will be you write you say the term madhyam or madhyama the intermediate level or it is uh, rajasika so these two terms are synonymous madhyama and rajasika then don't mix them and again the first one utkrishta or uh, sattvika again these two these two though synonymous in nature but the procedure differs and therefore do not mix there should be no mixture at all you please understand this point that's all now why should the uh, vedanta deshika say this uh, very uh, seriously is that pancharatra tradition must be maintained successfully he loves pancharatra much and not that he um, respects other tradition less not that he respects other traditions less Uh, recently the government of tamil nadu was uh, or is or always against the so called 
uh, high caste uh, Sanatana Dharma participants, people, we, I won't call it Hindu. Uh, though government is also of Hindu nature, in the sense, the members of the assembly, member, the members of the council, the leader, everybody belongs to the Hindu tradition. In in falsehood, they don't uh, they don't belong to uh, the tradition rightly. They have been uh, uh, advocating violence, uh, misappropriation, uh, and all and all other what you call bad uh, attacks on, especially the high caste. Sanatana Dharma people. And therefore, they thought that uh, others will not be affected. Uh, other, other sense, uh, the other Varnas are, will not be affected. But unfortunately, they did not realize that we have Tamasika tradition, Rajasika tradition in practice, in uh, all in many temples. There, those, those temples are more in majority. And therefore, uh, they, of course, they aim at only the money of the temple, the coffers of the temple, C-O-F-F-E-R-S. They are only interested in the coffers. And therefore, they are not interested in the, uh, any other procedure. Uh, but they wanted to, they had the inclination to punish people that, that is in their blood. The people belong to a particular community. So iha api yatra iti, iha here api too, here too yatra where it is amanyan in this tapi. So it is an ordinary term called where, where a tradition is followed. Pravukta nyayena, by the logic of what has been said earlier, Pravukta earlier, Ukta said, nyaya is logic. So Prabhuta anubhavataya. Because of our emotional attachment, to, very much, very, very emotional attachment, lot of attachment towards that. Sarvam Saha Swayam Vyakta Kshetra Vishesha Vishetam Mantavi. So here we must take into serious consideration the Swayam Vyakta Kshetra. Swayam Vyakta Kshetra is the is the most important uh, temple uh, than any other temple. For example, so Saimakta is the most important uh, temple than Saidha, Arsha, Daivika, and so on. Daiva and so on. Though established by gods, though established by sages, though established by uh, the successful people called Siddhas, though established by men with the devotion, human beings with a lot of devotion. Uh, the, the, the care that we must uh, evince in, in, a, in a particular category of temple is Swayam Vaktakshetram. Because Swayam Vaktakshetram, as I understand, uh, the Lord in the Swayam Kshetram who, who self-manifested is tolerant towards uh, our mistakes. Please note, I un underline this statement. He bears all lacunae in our procedures. Swayam Kshetram. Whereas the temples constructed by gods they become angry while we uh, sway away from our tradition and do some mistakes. Then they, they want to punish the um, people in charge of the temple. They get angry. Sages will curse the people involved. Siddhas will become sore, S-O-R-E, and therefore Naturally, the men will get irritated. Human beings who constructed the temple, if uh, the tradition is not followed properly, then uh, they will get angry. They will easily uh, start punishing the 
priest first. Now let me tell you a beautiful personal experience for the past three days. The past, the, and of course, the you cannot say it is self-manifest temple. I mean, it is not Swami Vakta temple which I visited for the past three days. But, but please remember the care that is taken, due care is taken by human beings belonging to that village called Dwar. It's a Sanskrit word, but uh, misspelled in English as T-H-U-V-A-R. Two are we, they, we, they say, and they also say two, two were without long vowel. The, the problem, the ancient problem was the whole village was washed away by floods and tornado. Still, the, the temple remains. That is because of uh, Lord's power, as we understand. The Lord is Kodandrama, a divine figure in the Moolavar, that is the main sanctum sanctorum and also the Utsava idol, the festival idol, are very nice. As usual, the Lord shows his uh, handsomeness. It is Kodandarama with the bow in the hand for both Lama and Lakshmana. Even in the Molavar, it is there in the, what you call, uh, stone uh, idol. In the sense, so the, the temple has been uh, deserted uh, for a long time, for a long time in the sense, centuries. Centur it's a century old temple, but uh, it has been uh, left out in the Lach. And now they have the people, village people who belong to this uh, village, um, did not even realize earlier that they belong to, to this village. Now that uh, they have understood that they, their ancestors belong to this village, uh, they came back. They came together. That's the beauty. They, came, they became united. And about 50 to 100 people, I don't know how many, how many but uh, at least uh, um, I understand 100 people. Now they donate money, reconstructed the temple. They had the, built the wall, had the walls built. Now, it is, uh, now it's, uh, it's a full-fledged temple. But again, unfortunately, the priest doesn't know anything as usual. There, are, there were two priests. According to my knowledge, there were two priests. One priest is continuing for the past four months. That's all just four months. The previous priest was a bachelor, in the sense, unmarried. And he, has, he had a lot of vices. No stalaparam, nothing. We at least Karapangada, as uh, Keshavada Swami wants, there is a, there is a stalaparam. The meaning, uh, Lord Vardaraja uh, was uh, found uh, in the in the village, in the ground. Uh, they dug it and they found the Lord Vardaraja and uh, the, he was named Abhishta Vardaha. Actually, people belonging to Kanchipuram travel far and uh, on the way, uh, to um, Tirukkurungudi, uh, they had to stay overnight, which was completely dark, no electricity in those days also. Even today, <laughs> electricity is a rare, a rare commodity. So no electricity, so, uh, but uh, they, they had to stay for a night in the, compelled by the Lord to stay at, uh, at night in that Karapangad village where uh, many scholars came, uh, in, uh, rather incarnated. So here, uh, what I mean to say is, uh, the, there, was a, there is a Stalapuram. There is no Stalapuram for Kodandarama temple in Dwar, in where, Dwar we, where we, we went. The problem, the problem lies now with the procedure of tradition, which tradition must be followed. And uh, I was told, that Vaikhanasa is being followed. Though it's a Vadagalai temple. It's a Vadagalai temple. It's a Vada, because owned by Vadagalai uh, devotees. And uh, it, uh, the, curiously enough, it is uh, Vaikhanasa temple. Of course, there is no um, difference. Uh, I mean, there are, there are traditions of Vaikhanasa and Panchalatra among the Vadagalais and among the Tengalais also. 
there is no problem but uh, the problem is now the full uh, i mean priest has not uh, got the full knowledge somebody is appointed uh, you catch someone and ask him to and he, he they even asked me to stay in the temple uh, permanently but to help the priest i said i don't know why kanasa but uh, they say they they need and they needed my help i said uh, it is impossible uh, now the problem is you know, there are so many problems here uh, uh, the the priests have vices uh, i must uh, of course be frank with you uh, so here so a, a viceless priest is rap and therefore uh what will be what will happen to the tradition that's that's important whether he knows vaikananda uh, suppose i probe into the knowledge of the priest for vaikananda there is no knowledge he can't be expected to read pancharatra raksha or pancharatra book or lakshmi tantra or any other book say for example shri krishna samhita ishwara samhita parameshwara samhita but uh, the real practical procedure he must know i observed very clearly i can't tell you now <laughs> because openly this comes into the uh, youtube so the problem is the the procedure him itself is uh, wrong he doesn't know very simple so what should he do so the, in that case if we if it is a swayam vakta kshetram if it is self manifest uh, temple Lord bears everything. B e a r s. Sarvam saha. Sarvam saha. It's a name. It's a name in uh, for uh, Lord Shivanarayan. Mantaviyam again. Again, we must only uh, deduce. We must only think. Mantaviyam. We must only guess. We must guess that Lord will not punish us. because he is called by vedanta deshika uh, as tikshna danda dhara a terrible uh, what do you call um, a, a terrible king who knows only punishing others there is a special word in english um, tikshna danda tikshna danda dhara for even a small mistake he gives a tyrant okay good tyrant i know it becomes like uh, start with t is a tyrant lord lord shiva narayan is a tyrant as vedanta ji has said in one of his stotras i think it is daya shatak tikshna danda dhara but whereas the law god is uh, agnyata nigraha in itiraja saptati vedanta ji has said the goddess mahalakshmi is is does not know how to punish people it's an example is sita so natu sarvatrikatva so you must uh, guess that uh, a yeah, swayamvakta temple self manifested lord will excuse all our mistakes at the same time it doesn't apply to all temples natu sarvatrikatva so don't take that the, the god will uh, pardon our mistakes no natu sarvatri so in this case only he gives a vedanta deshika gives a concession as if that the swayam self manifest but that doesn't mean the self manifest temple can be mishandled mismanaged it is not so in spite of the capacity the the good capacity of the management in uh, in uh, engaging priest if at all some mistake some slight error happens then lord will um, pardon that so next paragraph prak pravrta apakrishta shastra pratyabhijnani api divyasya aparityajyatvam va the now question this is a question va meaning question why why the word which means or 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 rather r a t h e r or perhaps 
P-E-R-H-A-P-S. It uh, gives an interrogative sense to the sentence. Please understand this. So, va means generally R. But uh, here it is in interrogative. That means Vedanta Shika is discussing a question. What question? Prak earlier, Pravrta practiced, Apakrishta Shastra, bad tradition, Pratyabhijnani api, do recognized, api do, Pratyabhijnani. So we have recognized, we have understood that the bad tradition has been, been, uh, has been followed earlier. Then divyasya aparityajyatvam va. Should we dismiss or should we delete or should we avoid uh, the divya, divyasya aparityajyatvam? Should we say that the figures are not divine? The idols are not divya mangala vigraha? Should we say it's a, it's a stone idol, it's a five metal idol, it's an idol made up of calcium, it's an idol, it's just an idol. It's not, very, very, it's not Divya Mangala Vigraha, it's not a divine one. Nor, another meaning is there, Divya Se Aparitya Jatong. Should we avoid, uh, should, we all, should we always maintain? The te temple tradition belonging to the gods. Or should we dismiss this as uh, uh, a flimsy matter, uh, silly matter that uh, it's, not a, it's not a god's temple. For example, many objected to Vedanta Deshika's uh, figure in temples, especially in Kanchipuram, they objected to the establishment of the Sannidhi, Sanctum Sanctorum, for Swami Vedanta Deshika. Swami Vedanta Deshika was a household grihastha. He was not a sannyasi. He was not a recluse. He was not a mendicant. And uh, he, he did not go to the fourth stage of life. He preferred to stay only in the uh, second stage. He did not even become Vanaprastha. He did not live in the forest. Even his life in towns, cities, where he was like a forest life because he was, uh, you know, he was intimidated. He was uh, attacked. He was boo-booed. He was insulted. He was, of course, he tolerated everything. He went. He came up successful. Uh, and therefore, uh, he came out, came out such, um, uh, victorious, unscathed by the attacks. But in spite of it, now we say, when we worship him as an idol figure, God, God himself, he is the uh, Ghantavatara, the incarnation of the bell of the temple of Srinivasa of Tirupati. Though we adore him like that, Many people objected to his uh, uh, sanctum sanctorum in temples. Today we have, in almost uh, even village temples, we have Vedanta Deshika. Even the temple in which, which I visited last, just in the last three days, we have a Vedanta Deshika idol there. No problem with Vadagalais, even while establishing the Vedanta Deshika. And there are very broad minded. Uh, uh, Tengali people also to accept Vedanta Deshika. But uh, the problem is, uh, the problem is, why, why I say this is, is it, is it uh, so divine? The question is, uh, is it so divine? As, as divine as the Lord? Uh, are we treating um, from Vedanta Deshika, people like Vedanta Deshika as uh, equal to the Lord? No, Acharya is more than the Lord. That is different. But do we accept him as Acharya? That's the problem. Uh, do, do all of us accept him as Acharya? Why is it this? Uh, Divya se aparityasya Namely, should we avoid this? Uh, or should we keep intact the procedure of the temples constructed by gods? 
So let, let us feel the divinity. Let us feel the divinity in temples where bad traditions have been followed for many decades, for eons, you can say, for yugas, for eras. There was, there was always a bad tradition. So in spite of the bad tradition, should we uh, keep, uh, should we feel that it should be divine? The question is this. Very, very serious question. Now, this is a paradox also. This is what we call contradictory. A temple with a bad tradition is still respected as divine. So let us understand. Yadva, again, this va is different. Previously, the va makes an interrogative sense for the sentence, but yadva is rather. Yadva, which va, perhaps. Chirakala Rashtra Chobadina. So we have seen countries that went to ruin. Today we can, I think, have a list of countries who are not extant now. E-X-T-A-N-T. -E they are not present now. They have been washed away by the ETs, namely the natural calamities. The whole country is not there. Or the nation has been spoiled to the core and we can't identify the nation, the nation's name. Chirakala, for a long time. Rashtra, the kingdom, the country, the nation. Chobadina, the famine affected. Generally, uh, we have some bad examples of famine affecting for 20, 12 years. 12 years. No rain. It's called anavrishti. Called yitihi. It's a natural calamity. No rain for 12 years. This happened in Gokulam, in Krishnavatara. In Krishnavatara, though the best devotees, of course, cowherds and cowherdesses are incarnations of gods. During the incarnation of Lord Krishna, the whole Gokulam had 12 years of famine. 12 years of no rain. And naturally, the rain was necessary, damn necessary. And therefore, Tirupavai to, to just retrace the history was blessed by Goda Devi, namely Andal in Tamil. So it happened in Gokara. And therefore, Lord Krishna incarnated and um, after uh, coming from Mathura, he, he, was, uh, he, was a son of, he was a son of Devaki in Mathura uh, at the time of delivery. And then, then the same day he went to Gokul. So that the whole area became very prosperous. Rather un in, unimaginably prosperous by the presence of the Lord. Though we say Lord is present everywhere. Antar bahishyatat sarvam vyapyanara yanaschitaha Though we have the sentence, he is everywhere. Uh, but but uh, he also have he also has uh, what do you call leela sport to, to play and he, uh, he rather we say you, we used to say we, he tests the devotees t e s t s test the devotees uh, um, interest in the in the lord even the good devotees even the best devotees and therefore cowherds and cowherdesses and even uh, the sages in, during the incarnation of Rama were born as cowherdesses in the incarnation of Krishna. And therefore, they, they wanted to have close contact, what you call proximity to the, what you call Samipyam to the Lord. And therefore, they, they thought they missed it in Rama's incarnation. Because Rama was a king and he was not very easily accessible to approach. And therefore, 
the forest sages, the sages of the forest were born as cowherdesses in Gokula. And therefore, so you find that 12 years of famine, the whole nation must have been in the dilapidated condition. This is what we call choba, you know. Choba is dilapidation. So, vichinna param pariya pratyabhijnani shu sthani Now we understand temples are desecrated. Temples are left out in the lurch. Temples are deserted. So, uh, the whole nation has been a desert with uh, a few people living in penury, in poverty. And therefore, vichinna paramparya pratyabhijnane shu sthane shu. While we recognize places of temples which have been uh, left out with the uh, tradition. The tradition has been cut off. Then what shall we King Tarvata Mudham. The people do not know what to do. Kim what? Kartavyata duty, Mudha. Fools. So idiots who could not understand what to be done. In the sense, all the people, of course, all the people unknowingly, unknowingly do something. So, Prati, Mudan Prati, towards those people who are not familiar with anything with regard to the temple, Purvam Apakrishta Shastra Pravutavapi Tadagnana Dasayam Upaplavabi Sandhyavavat Sarvadhikarinam Mukhyanam Utkrishta Shastra Parigraha Auchityam Iha Uchati. Look at the beautiful clarity of Sri Vedanta Deshika here. Uh, to those people who do not know anything, this is, the, this is the present situation. This is the present situation in almost all temples. Almost 99.999 temples today, we have no knowledge of the priests. Especially priests, why do you, uh, why do you point out, uh, 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 figure out, I mean, single out priests? Nobody knows. So, that is Ajnana, so Purvam, Purvam earlier, Apakrishta Shastra Pratavapi, though bad traditions have been followed, that Ajnana Dajayam, at that time of ignorance, at, this, at that status of ignorance, Ajnana, ignorance, Upaplava Abhisandhi Abhavat. <coughs> there was no follow-up in the context of floods. That is what do you call the what do you call the destruction. So soon after the destruction, the temples must have been reconstructed. But there was no connection, link. There was no one to tell you your ancestral village, your native place of your ancestors and so on. Nobody to tell us the information, right information. Uh, one of the devotees of Dwar Temple told me that his grandfather used to say the name of the place and they realized only now after 100, 100 years, that there is a village called Dwar. That means they have remembered the single word uttered by grandfather long ago. That memory, of course, that memory was recovered by Lord Sriman Narayana only. That is also the, what you call the boon. And therefore, so now we have no link. So, uh, Abhisandhi Abhava. Sandhi link. Abhis and the good link. We have no definite information. We have no correct information. We have no records. Kesha Swami was asking Stala Purana, much less. Upaplava uh, Abhis and Abhava. It was by the, uh, what do you call, uh, danger, the natural danger that occurred. So Sarvadhikarina Mukhyana. 
Now that you find you find a committee of uh, management of a temple, so they manage everything. Sarva adhikarina mukhyana. Now there are two types of meaning here. Sarva adhikarina. Those who are managers of the temple can be called all in all in charge. But they must know the procedure also. The priest must be the managers of the temple, not any, anybody else. They must know. They must know how to manage the temple also, not mismanage. So Sarva Adhikarina, that means a, a priest who has good knowledge of the uh, procedure, of any procedure, bad tradition or good tradition, any, any bad tradition also. Then Mukhyanam, again we take VIPs, don't take very insignificant person, but very important person. Then Utkrishta Shastra Parigraha Auchityam Yauchit. Now, they are to be trained in the best tradition that is being mentioned here for the here, here, Uchate is being said, Parigraha, acceptance, Shastra, the tradition, Utkrishta, the best. So they must be educated. Those who knew only the bad tradition should be educated. That is the responsibility of the society. Unfortunately, if the society is reluctant, nothing can be done. Therefore, if the government interferes, it is spoiled. So now we are now trying to the whole Supreme Court cases are in a line in plenty that the Hindu religious endowment ministry under government should be barred, should be removed, should be dismissed which connects all temples and plunders them. The government must be, the temples must be free of the government control. That's what the fight is going on. A heavy fight is going on. Tooth and nail today. So here, so what should we do? So the best tradition must be given uh, as a training to the present bad priests. Tatra, there, Punaha, but, or again. Kutaschit Pramana. Find out a proof. Find out an authority. From nowhere. I can say from somewhere. Kutrachit. Uh, try to find out a guess that the, the, the proof for the temple. Kutra, kutaschit Pramana. pramana. Kutaschit means from somewhere. Take a clue from nearby temples. Then Prakpravartha Shastra Parijnane. So when the priests are familiar with uh, the earlier procedures, maybe bad traditions, Divyasya Aparitya Jatvancha. They must be instructed carefully that they can come to a higher level and they must not give up the divine tradition. They must be clearly said that they must come up in quality level. There too. Iti Ativada Lingat. We overshoot the argument. So Ativada Lingat. So meaning, so we can. Uh, derive tertiary meaning or at least secondary meaning so that api shabdatu suchit also api means also also means though api also means though though there was a bad tradition in a temple long ago as we identified earlier then the best tradition should be followed the priest must take care that they, it must be followed. Now, apishabdasya. Now, how do you understand the, the word also or though? Apishabdasya. Api is the word. Shabdasya of the word. 
அத்திவாத லிங்கத்துவம் ஓவர் ஷூட்டிங் தி ஜெண்டர் யூ கேன் ஈவன் சே லிங்க அண்ட் ஆல்சோ தி ஐடென்டிஃபிகேஷன் இட் மீன்ஸ் சிம்பல் லிங்க இஸ் அ சிம்பல் நாட் ஓன்லி தி வாட் யூ கால் ஜெண்டர் மேஸ்குலைன் ஃபெமினைன் மியூட்டர் also the gender i mean the what you call the symbol the symbol is uh, indication it's an indication so while we overshoot the meaning then chandalam api vrittastam tam deva brahmanam vidu look at the beautiful statement vadanta uh, deshika whether he quotes or whether he says by himself we do not understand now we will try we will try to understand i think it will be in uh, it will be available in pancharatra or any other samhita like sri prashna um, uh, ishwara um, parameshwara samhita uh, and pancha uh, lakshmi tantra pancharatra and so on. so what we understand is tandalam api an outcast to tivo an outcast to even though he is an outcast he 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 has no um, business he has no uh, what you call permission to enter into a temple <laughs> he, <coughs> he is an outcast meaning he has been banned by the society as a man unfit for uh, anything so fit for nothing he is fit for nothing so chandalam so i am not uh, referring to the caste as i understand as you understand uh, please remember the example that um, vishwamitra fought with vasishta the sage and then vasishta proved that uh, brahma balam brahma balam is the what you call the uh, strength of the divinity is uh, uh, high, the highest and therefore vishwamitra was a king was a sage there was is a combination of the king and the sage he was called raja rishi and he wanted to become brahma rishi he performed very serious penance for thousands of uh, lakhs of years and and he became one certified by vasishta and he made earlier trishanku ya chandala cast by the gods especially indra the leader of gods to ascend to a heaven which was created by vishnu the heaven was created by vishnu he created apsarasas for celestial nymphs urvashi tilottama menaka and also one more so four so he created amaravati city he was a brahma another brahma on earth vishwamitra could do it could do could do could create heaven another swarga for trishanku trishanku became a chandala because he was cast to become so by indra when he tried to go to heaven with the human body that was a problem so a uh, uh, chandala is not born a chandala is a curse to one and therefore so don't uh, say that outcast is a low caste person he is uh, he is because of his bad qualities he is prohibited from uh, participating in a society so chandala mapi suppose he knows that trishanku was a king chandalam api vrittastham he knows the procedure vrittam life vrittam is procedure vrittastham that means he is standing in good stead for with the knowledge of the temple tradition then tam him devaha gods brahmanam vidu they understand him as they took him as a spiritual man he belongs to a high caste according to gods when he knows the procedure an educated chandala will be respected more than a brahmin priest according to the shastra 
So God will always treat him very nicely. So ityadi prayogeshu prasiddham. In all these procedures, prayogeshu, procedures, prasiddham, it is popular. Generally, all, all of us know, Lord Nashiman Narayana has no partiality and therefore, na dveshya namapriyaha. Na mamapriyaha. Na dveshya na mamapriyaha. Bhagavad Gita said, nobody is an enemy to God, nobody is a friend to God. What do you, mean the same? What do you call in the, same? In, the, in the term friendship? And therefore, he can uplift anybody. He can redeem anybody. He can give, give us the moksha, whoever we are. So, ataha eva, therefore only, ataha therefore eva only, ki atra eva, ki indeed atra eva here itself, punaha again, sankara parihare, samrambha kriya. Now, agitation is being done now, samrambha. Samrambaham is agitation. Agitation means tension is created now. Tension is created. What? How to avoid mixture? Sankara Parihare. Sankara mixture. Parihare. Remedial action to mixture. Samrambaha kriyate. Your tension is created now. That is a serious discussion follows while uh, we think that two traditions cannot be combined. Bad tradition cannot be combined with the good tradition. The best tradition should not be belittled to the loyal level. B -E -L -I -T -T -L -E -D. So That should not be made low in character. The best tradition cannot be made less in standards. And no, don't mix the tradition, Tamasika, Rajasika, then uh, what you call Satvika. Again, don't, don't uh, mix Utkrishta, Madhyama, and Adhama. So with all this uh, uh, mixture, I mean traditions, don't again uh, practically to say Parameshwara Samhita should not be mixed with uh, Sri Prasna Samhita. Sri Prasna Samhita should not be mixed with uh, uh, Ishwara Samhita. So you cannot do it. Though there are very little differences. In minute differences even cannot, not, cannot be noticed by our frequent reading of these Shastras. But still, those who are very careful in reading this will identify the difference, small differences. And our question will be, what if even though there are differences, let us not worry about them. When we say let us not worry about them, that is the mistake. We will take up this one, uh, the next paragraph uh, later. Um, but it is simply says, um, you must know the difference. All of us must know the difference. All priests... <laughs> All priests must know the difference. Uh, then, as, as usual, as usual, the the world, whole world, will be in soup. Yes, so up. If we change the tradition, if we do not, at least even if we do not know the tradition properly, if we wantonly follow, willingly follow some mixture of tradition. That is also not right, though we know everything, though we know everything. Uh, so the family will come into trouble, will fall into danger. And uh, because all the priests must have, must be what we call well-wisher of the entire nation, well-wisher of the people. That will be shared of the leaders. That should be very important. So please note how Vedanta Deshika uh, presents beautifully this point. Uh, whether we mix the tradition or we do not know the tradition when we, when we do a lot of mistakes, our aim must be we must be a well-wisher to the nation, whole nation. It is not 
you are a selfish well wisher to your self and family and we must we must follow instructions in the books note the differences between traditions and and also teach others teach others so that they you we guide others so that now we are actually talking on air without reading going in, um, deeply into panchanatra tradition itself and that will be uh, better to understand why vedanta deshika stresses the point that we must be well wisher we must be well wisher we must always say loka samasta sukhino bhavantu that should be our motto that should be our goal that should be our aim so sorry uh, so mm-hmm. what if someone discover a uh, deity or murti of a particular uh, god and a temple is built for that discovered icon is it that that should be considered as self manifested uh, can you write this in the chat sure swami what he's saying is let's uh, say somebody finds a somebody digs in the ground and they find a deity or they uh, find mm. a deity in the ocean or something and mm. uh, it's just Under discovered ground. is it is it uh, swayam jakta it is it is swayam jakta yes it is swayam jakta because i have an example uh, i went to a village called um, near karur shanap perakti called shanap perakti in in tamil it is called s a n a p i r a t t i shanap perakti it is the name of a andhra uh, man and therefore uh, it is some other i mean name of an andhra man I mean, because uh, the the race um, uh, sana uh, i think i forgot the uh, original name of the andhra man the telugu man's uh, uh, village they settled in tamil nadu near karur and we have a lakshmi narasimha temple in sanapperatti i went there uh, with uh, one uh, one of the samavedins he is a secretary of the samaveda sabha in trichy and uh, i could uh, by god's grace uh, help to get funds from shringagiri math because shringagiri acharya came there visited once and uh, and uh, they the the temple the, uh, figure is swayam uh, it was dug and found in the, under the ground and uh, there was a dream in one of the devotees uh, mind you know, one of the devotees sleep uh, the uh, by saying i am here please uh, dig and find out find me out so it's a self manifestation and uh, one more uh, figure is still under the uh, well water still under well water he is not i mean the people are not able to um, bring it out uh, again this dream was there uh, was dreamt by my friend his name is jayaram and uh, he is now 90 years old man and uh, the the um, the figure the divine figure which was uh, taken to the temple uh, is called you can call it as self manifest it's a very small temple monastery temple as you can see like what we call a hanuman temple uh, in a corner of the street very very and the beauty is the devotees came forward of the of that village constructed a guest house for people to come and worship uh, free free guest house um, with the food arrangement uh, can be made earlier the priest uh, unfortunately <laughs> visits many temples the priest is uh, coming from far off place he is from karur and he visits a temple once in the day either morning or evening as though we can, we can remain hungry god god can remain hungry for uh, the whole day uh, he even even of course payment is less and he is not ready to come the problem is again 
uh, we have to suspect his knowledge. That's also there. So he does puja in three temples uh, on a day. So morning one temple, afternoon one temple, and uh, evening one temple. So he has a family to look after, and therefore he is. Uh, again, again, uh, the, the knowledge is less. What about me? me see, when I accuse others, <laughs> I have also no knowledge. Uh, temple, temple tradition knowledge. Uh, easy, easy to criticize others and comment on others. But uh, it can be taken as self-manifest because um, it is found um, in, a, in, a, in a field, in a field, deserted by people. It's not usable field. So I have an example. Uh, okay. We had a governor in Tamil Nadu uh, with uh, with a uh, I mean we're from Andhra, uh, and th that is that is his name. That is the main name of the village. Uh, I forgot the caste name, um, the race name. But Swami, so, that... nah, so so what if that that icon was carved and being worshipped before? And then uh, by natural catastrophe or something like that, it got um you know washed away or buried or something, and then it's rediscovered again. Is that still considered self manifested? Yeah, um, Kesavdas has to. He's saying, uh, if there was a deity in a temple or in a house or something, and uh, it was worshipped before. But then some catastrophe came and it was washed away in a flood or it got buried in an earthquake and then it got dug up. Is it still considered self-manifest or is it... Uh, is it... it is self-manifest. It is self-manifest. Because nobody uh, ordered, rather um, made order, made a sculptor to make a, a idol for example, Kumbakonam is a place meant for that. So you create an idol in metal, what you call artificially in the sense human made, man made. Then you establish a temple that is not self manifest. The, the one which has been dug out, uh, though, though it might have been done as a man made uh, figure. Long ago, uh, long ago, right? It, is, it cannot be there without uh, a man-made uh, figure. Figure, but it's still, but still, uh, since it has discovered later, uh, then you can take it as manifest. That's why uh, why we must take uh, consider it self-manifest. Venugopal uh, Swami, please note the point, namely, the self-manifest figure of the temple will tolerate all our mistakes, will bear all our um, deficiencies. That is the uh, faith in the Lord, whereas all other con uh, constructed temples will be uh, trying to punish uh, the priests for the mistakes coming. And in turn, the whole, the whole nation will get punished. All people will suffer, without exception. And uh, that was an example where in Tirupudkuri, a village near Kanchipuram, uh, all people were affected by plague, P-L-A-Q-U-E. So common disease, just like Corona. Corona, you have a current the famous example, Corona. Corona affected the many countries. And the reason we say somebody, China or some other, the lab experiment exploded. And therefore we say that Corona affected. But it was wantonly done as we understand by some countries to spoil other nations. They were very jealous of the other developing nations and developed nations. And therefore, So here, Corona is the best example. 
Karona, Karona. So in uh, the again, it is a sport. We say sport of the Lord. Uh, so many uh, dangers occurred, and um, many many were saved. We have to see the positivity of the uh, creation, the sport of the Lord. Positivity. Of the, many people escaped. Even I. Even I. Even I. The first four, first four days after visiting Vijayawada, I I became Corona patient as if, and um, my wife uh, did not uh, deter me. D E T E R. That is uh, threaten me to uh, psychologically that it is uh, Corona. But uh, fortunately, I mean, how do you say fortunately? Or uh, there are people who are fortunate to die. There are people unfortunate to die. <laughs> um, of course, uh, there is a there is a plan by Lord Shimanarayana to keep you alive. Also, there is a plan. That plan may be a good plan, <laughs> according to me, or sometimes a bad plan. There is a, I I see I, I see some very old people. In CPU, I mean ICU and today it's called uh, uh, CCU, critical care unit. Earlier it was called ICU, intensive care unit. Now it is CCU, critical care unit. Many people are lying down with uh, age above 80, 90. <laughs> so, I don't know, we don't know what plan we have got. Uh, that is, of course, we, we always attached our uh, sufferings to our past karma and so on, past action, bad action. But uh, anyhow, mm, we we see them suffer. We see them, uh, as I see, uh, not useful to the society. How many of us are useful to the society? How, how much useful? When we are useful, then how much useful? Shamanu Jadaya Patram Jnana Vairagya Bhushanam Srimad Venkatanatha Jambande Vedanta Deshikam Kapitar Kigasimma Yagalyana Gunasaline Srimade Venkatesaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Vadid Viva Shirobhanga Banchanana Parakramaha Shiman Venkatanatha Yachiram Vijetam Bhuvi Chirunda Dopal Drivanga Damurayan Parunda Chonna Badamurijul Urundutani Amayadho Taranil Varvar Kavane Rapomalabumbar Ramanu Jadaya Patram Jnana Vairagya Bhushanam Shri Madhveng Katanatharyam Bande Vedanta Deshikam Kavitarki Kasimhaya Kalyana Gunashaline Shri Mate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Shri Rundrutupul Tiruvengada Mudayan Parundra Chonna Paramoyul Urundrutane Amayado Taranil Varvarke Vane Rapo Malavum Varve Um Namuna Rayanaye Um Namuna Rayanaye Om Namo